How's it going everyone? This is Tom. Now the Nexus 5 has been out for a little while now. However, I picked it up when the red color came out, uh, so I thought that I would just kind of bring you five things I love about the Nexus 5 so far, and um, we'll talk about the color a little bit later on in this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we want to talk a little bit about the screen size and also the weight of the phone, the kind of physical dimensions, because I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Coming from an HTC One, it is quite a lot heavier. Uh, the build quality on the HTC One is probably a bit better than on the Nexus 5, hence the fact that it's heavier, it's made out of metal. Because it with a screen size of 5 inches at 1920 by 1080 a 1080p resolution, that gives it a pixel density of 445 pixels per inch. Here it is next to a Samsung Galaxy S4 and also an iPhone 5 for a bit of perspective. The Nexus 5 comes in at 130 grams and I really, really like the weight. Once you get used to it being a bit lighter than a phone such as the HTC One, uh, the kind of lighter experience is more pleasant. Next up I want to talk about the key wireless charging standard. Uh, this this is very, very cool. I absolutely love this in the Nexus 5. Obviously not a new feature. This has been in phones before. I just picked up this cheap uh, kind of wireless charging pad uh, off Amazon for about £20 here in the UK, about $25. I'll try and link it down below as it's quite impressed me actually. But you simply plug it in uh, via a USB to micro USB on the back and then whack your Nexus 5 on top of it and it starts wirelessly charging it. Very, very useful uh, and uh, a lot of fun to come from the HTC One which doesn't have support for it. Okay, so it's probably time to address the elephant in the room, the color of the red Nexus 5. The color options for the Nexus 5 are black, white and this red color. Uh, Google calls it bright red and it certainly is bright red. Uh, in my unboxing video I said that I wasn't really quite sure about it. I had mixed feelings but it has really grown on me. I've started to really enjoy it. It kind of has this banding around the side which is kind of a hybrid between the black and the white designs. Uh, it takes the black wrap around the sides so you get kind of this red effect on the home screen. When you're looking at your phone you can kind of see this red bezel which just looks gorgeous and absolutely love it. It's a bit overwhelming on the back of the phone. I feel like the color of the red Nexus 5 definitely looks best uh, when you're either holding the phone or have the phone on a surface like you can see here. And I think the extra color option, the red color option is a bit uh, it's a bit out there by Google. It's a really good choice and it's an option so you can if you want just go for the standard black or white. I didn't think I would say this, but the red Nexus 5 is the color I would continue to go with if I was buying this phone again, so the red option gets a big thumbs up. Next, this is a Nexus device, so of course, stock Android, stock Android 4.4.2 KitKat uh, is the next kind of thing I just love about the Google LG Nexus 5. Just little things like full screen album artwork on your lock screen, or, or bigger things such as fluidity. I haven't really had any crashes like I have with previous versions of Android. The user interface and user experience of Android 4.4 KitKat is just fantastic. Uh, definitely, definitely up there with iOS. And as I'm sure many of you are aware, this is Google's flagship phone for 2014, meaning that you're going to get the most up-to-date Android experience when it is released first. So at the moment, that's KitKat. Obviously, when Android 4.5 comes out, this phone should be the first to get it. And then finally, I'm sure many of you have guessed it by now, uh, the Nexus 5 is a very, very good value smartphone. As I've already mentioned in this video, this is Google's flagship device, meaning it's their most important uh, and kind of best spec phone that they offer. That of course means that you normally see a premium price uh, in excess of kind of $500 or £500 here in the UK. That is not the case with the Nexus 5. This actually comes in at $350 for the lowest end model and £300 here in the UK as well. Uh, it's just fantastic in price for a smartphone of this caliber. To add a bit of perspective, here's the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Both fantastic phones, but both very expensive phones, coming in at almost double the retail price of the Nexus 5. And I highly doubt I could say they're double as good. There we have it, that's five things I love about the Nexus 5. As always, I will be bringing you five things I also hate about it, so stay tuned for that video if you don't want to miss it, and you can subscribe if you'd like to be notified about that. If you have made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you take this time to hit the like button, and I will catch you next time.